Hello everyone, it is Swimplays here, back in our video, hope you guys are doing amazing. So recently we just left off with um, another Vibe series video and I'm pretty sure that was actually just the animations. Um, so yeah, we did just really love with that and of course today we are here with this Avatar catalog. Now some of you may be confused, but um, we're going to go straight into this. But before we start this video, feel free to hit that subscribe button and that post notifications. And um, also join the Discord while you're at it because we are doing giveaways in there and it means a lot, you guys. Um, it's, it's pretty awesome, but uh, yeah, we're, we're at like a thousand members now. It's, it's amazing. But yeah, so welcome everybody and um, I'm happy you're here. We're almost at 9,000, so that's amazing. So before I quickly explain everything about it and show you what it's like, uh, we're gonna do two. We're gonna just look at a few things. Um, you're gonna go in the description and look for models, and you're gonna grab the model right here. It's gonna say Avatar Catalog Bundle and whatever have Avatar Editor. Now there's a few things right here. Now this is the original creator, so I actually didn't make this, you guys, and I wanted to keep you guys informed about that because I don't, you know, I don't take scripts. I mean, I don't like take scripts and stuff and just make it under my own. I just want to let you guys know that I didn't make this. Someone else did, and I would say it's this guy right here. Um, he's on the dev form, and you can actually go and look look at everything about this. So features, themes, all this stuff. But he made two versions, and for version one, I edited it just a bit. But version two, I left by itself, and I'm gonna give it to you guys. But uh, you're, we're gonna quickly look at this. But it's really cool, you know. So there's just all this cool stuff. Um, and it tells you everything about it. So go look at the links in the description and just go, uh, you know, like their post, whatever you want to do. I'll go like his post too. But it's pretty amazing. So um, I'm going to quickly show you here what it's like. So we're actually just going to bring this over here. So once you grab the model, you're going to go to Toolbox in your Roblox Studio. And you're just going to go to Inventory. It's going to be right here for you. Click this and it's going to load it in. Now it's going to take a second because there's a lot of it. Um, but there's two things, okay? We're going to go through all of them one by one. Um, so we have the GUI version, the step version, and then the saving version. Um, so the step version is the one I made personally just for people who want to uh, make a one that's just quickly how it works. So what we're going to do is once you get that in is just quickly um, either scroll through the video or think about which one you want. So the third saving version is one that's just a top bar GUI. Um, they can open it at the top bar and it comes with saving. The step version is the one that they will step on the ground and then the GUI version is a GUI. So we're quickly going to look at all these one by one. So I'm going to actually just open this one and we're going to rep we're just going to do exactly what we're supposed to do. So we're ungrouping and replicated. Uh, we're going to go to server script. Now this one's a little unorganized. That's why I don't personally like this uh, view one GUI version. So just, just bear with that. But as you can see, this is the GUI. It says edit avatar and then starter player. We're going to go there and then starter player scripts. There we go. Um, and then I'll put this in uh, server storage just so it doesn't really activate. Um, but then we have that and I'll actually just move the GUI toggle frame right here and I'm going to quickly show you here. So this is the V1. So let me pause this and show you what it looks like. Okay, so as you load in, it's just going to have this little button. You're going to click edit avatar and it's going to bring up this really cool GUI, guys. And I'm not kidding you, it has everything. So um, you can customize all you want and um, it's honestly, it is pretty amazing. So this right here, just, uh, you know, you can edit this and this. So if we go right here and we say uh, sparkle time, um, you know, I can put my sparkle time hat on. And then um, we go right here to wearing, shows what you're wearing, and you can just click out of it, you know. You can do whatever you want. So it is amazing, guys, amazing. And you hit exit, and there you go. But this one doesn't save, like I said. So when you reset, it's probably not going to be there, of course. But um, that's what this one GUI is. If you want this, feel free to keep that. Um, I personally don't really like it because, you know, it's just right there for you. But maybe it, it would work for some things if you had all the GUIs on the side. But that's your choice. So it's just a simple version. That's the, v, that's the V1. So let's go look at V2. So for V2, I actually made this one um, and I fixed it up a bit so it looks better and organized. So in replicated storage, it has the avatar modules, server script service is gonna have the scripts and then starter GUI, we'll put this down in starter GUI, starter player scripts, and then we'll put this in workspace. Once we do that, we'll just ungroup all of them. Um, so ungroup starter GUI, ungroup, and then ungroup, and there we go. We're gonna just, I'll just close that out. So this is what it should look like. Um, and of course, uh, so avatar GUI is the part. So you wanna find this part. So here it is. 
and we're going to bring this right up here. And so what this one is, is basically a wardrobe. Now I was going to put this in and I will be probably putting in my vibe house because when someone walks into a closet, they can change it and everything. Now all this stuff's still the same in here. I'm going to go through this, this one, um, in just a bit here and how it really works, but, um, I'm not too, I'm not very smart with this cause I didn't make it. So I'll just probably go through and look through it at the moment. But of course, so when we play the game, um, you're just going to spawn in and of course you're going to have your normal outfits and stuff. But when you go to this part right here, it's going to play it for you. So this is what I did is I did it. So the part like a gear shop is it will load it for you. So it's like a wardrobe and I know someone requested this too. So I decided I might as well make it and stuff, but you know, there's, there's so much you can do guys. Um, but, uh, debating on what you want to do then, you know, that's that. But yeah, so this is what it looks like. Um, just something you can step on and then it'll pull it up for you. And there is no GUI of course. So pretty simple. Um, and it looks, it looks amazing in my opinion. So let's get back to the script parting of it. So I'm just gonna explain a bit of the scripts and what I did personally, but um, what we do have is the avatar editor and this is just the main frames and everything. So what I was about to say guys, is this is how you can customize it. You can cut, turn it on a visible, change the colors, do whatever you'd like. But personally, I think you should just leave it like this. Looks amazing. So you don't have to really worry about anything, you know? So I personally leave it like that, but feel free to customize all you like. Um, this is the avatar editor client. So this is what I changed. Um, in he here, sorry. <laughs> We have, let's see, maybe it wasn't here, right? Am I trading? Yeah, so we have the toggle button. And what I did was, let's see, I'm going to show you explore all these functions. Yeah, there's so much. I'm not going to go through all this. But um, what I did was right here, we created a local debounce and we called it to false. And when they stepped on the button, which is that little pad, then if not debounce, then we're setting the debounce to true. And then we're doing this toggle, which is the function that they made previously already. And what this does is is open then is false so close sequence and open sequence and this is where it loads it and tweens it so that's basically how it works um, but i just added this little debounce right here so it closes it and you so you, if you step on it it doesn't open and open and open it just opens one time and then you know you don't have to worry about it but that's pretty much all i added but um of course there's just all these cool things there's the buttons um these are all modules and modules are a great way of uh doing these type of scripts this guy is amazing and um, i mean uh, i'm just like trying to give credit to him too because this is just honestly amazing um but this is like grabbing the catalog stuff this is grabbing the bundles from the catalog um like http services i'm probably guessing what he's using right here asset service okay it makes sense you know right here so it, it's honestly amazing and then this, this is where he edits stuff um so it's pretty cool you guys um i would never be able to script this so i of course had to get some help on it but um yeah, and then this update avatar is probably an event that they send up, you know, you just say update this and stuff, and then accessories and back face, like this is like, I mean, come on, all these IDs, like, <laughs> it's just funny, so there's just all this cool stuff, um, now I wouldn't recommend touching any of the scripts, just feel free to um, touch the GUI, you know, just change it all you'd like, and like I said, all you gotta do is just go into the main and turn visible to on, and then touch it all you want. Um, but yeah, you guys, so now going back into the new one, the last one is the V2 that he just made and it is pretty amazing. So we're going to ungroup this replicated, ungroup this in server script, ungroup this in server storage, and ungroup this in starter player scripts. Now, um, there's a bit with this one too. Um, so I'm going to show you right here and kind of maybe what he did. I'm going to look through the scripts while we do this in a second here. I, I don't know under why he did this, but he did a lot. So, um, of course we have the icon. So this is the, uh, right here this is the top bar so that's amazing um the local script of course uh top bar is right here so the avatar icon you can set the image if you see right here he did this but you can do it how you want um but as you can tell this is the avatar editor um and yeah and let's see i think there was the avatar editor service yes yeah, so this is probably the all the crazy code that we don't have to worry about but um then the gui wise i think it should be in here yeah so this is where it's all the crazy stuff so we're actually going to play the game and show you exactly what it looks like because it is pretty amazing so of course when you load in um it's just going to have this and it's going to be really clean up here and it's going to say avatar editor so this is what i was really talking about guys um and it does this so this is absolutely amazing so right when you open it it has all this cool stuff so we have like reset you can reset i think i'm guessing um, I don't, you know, I off sell. So it looks like this is where you can buy stuff too. Wow. That's amazing. I don't even know he added that. So that's basically another way thing that he did. Um, and it's, it's just really cool. And then I guess right here is where you save them. Um, and then he has a whole body thing. That's amazing. Didn't even see that. Uh, so that's another thing. So if I were to just make myself really tiny, really proportion wise, and then maybe save, let's see, test one and then create. 
and you have test one. Wow, that is that is absolutely that is so sick. So that's what it looks like. And then if I get out of it, you know, I'm here. So um, I'm guessing that's what he did. And if I reset, uh, you know, whatever. But honestly, guys, I wouldn't recommend touching anything. Just insert your game. I just want to explain a little bit. Oh, and it saves. So that's that's really cool. <laughs> that is awesome. So I recommend you guys using the V2, just in my opinion. So I hope you did enjoy this video. Please comment, like, subscribe, and share. It's just a little tiny one I wanted to get out here because I know a few of you guys are probably like looking for it and stuff. And I just was like, might as well get it out because it's just something cool that people would want to use, you know? So um, yeah, feel free to check those guys out. And the links is in the description. Um, I'll see you guys in the next one. We got a few videos coming up. It's going to be really cool. So yeah, peace out, you guys.